So first order of business is gathering wood. And there's the campsite. And that direction is down valley. Or downhill. There's the valley. For that, I have my gloves. I have two, actually. Here's the second one. But I cannot use my iPhone with a glove. One flaw. Alright, and I... To be honest, I don't like working with gloves. Uh, in winter, they may be okay. But I also... Also then, I really like working with my hands. But if I haul wood for a day, for one or two campfires, um, my hands will be all scratched up and everything, and I... You know what, that's a cool feeling, knowing that you're in the woods and scratched up hands and, I don't know, makes you feel like a man, but... Where are my gloves today? Now, I might fall, and I'm not gonna cut the video. <laughs> so, you'll get to laugh if I do. If I don't, well... I can just, you know, and I wouldn't be upset if you would laugh, because if any of you would fall while you make a video, I would probably laugh. I fell a few times just when I was about to uh, hit the record button, I just slipped in. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, pretty cool, everything's dry and uh, gathering up wood. Now I could just break this. But that wouldn't be quite as cool. Well, maybe it would. This is really nice. This branch here is going to give you all the material you need to start a fire. I mean, from the small, very, very dry branches um, you know, your, your kindling to your fuel. So, quite a score. Not really, I knew this was here. <laughs> I've been saving this one for a while now. Now I do have a few pieces of wood at my campsite. So, we're good. I sometimes uh, play around with uh, messing around, you know. When you mess around and you don't do your preparation, that's when uh, you get a surprise. <laughs> that's when you don't get your fire. <coughs> I really like to get my fire today. So here we are, back again. That was what? My wood gathering and what? Well, except for the talk, I'd say two minutes. I'm gonna get more wood, but just a point. This is actually all you need. Start a fire.
So I didn't want to bore you. It took about five minutes, maybe more. I'm really not aware of time in the woods. Uh, the most important things for me are the shavings that I put on the little piece of ISO mat, and then the slightly bigger sticks that are very disorganized, and then the bigger sticks, that's the main fuel. And then these thicker sticks, they're just gonna come right here because everything's wet. Um, that's it for fire preparation. If you walk around a lot, you'll find a lot of trees with um, dead branches and a lot of dead trees. You can get that. Failing to get that, just make some wood shavings. <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta get to it.
So, I really hope you enjoyed it. I wasn't trying to teach anybody anything new. I was just showing you my favorite way of building a fire. And I think it's really, well, kind of bulletproof. Um, you put the thick sticks on the bottom, and they can be green sticks if you want to, or damp. And then you just uh, make yourself a little hole, a little chimney. You put your tinder, your burning tinder in there, and you just pile wood on top. It won't smother the fire, and uh, you'll get a high flame. Sometimes it's really nice. Um, I usually, when I come out in the woods, I, I'm in a hurry to get the fire going. And uh, I'll just uh, use cotton and Vaseline, put more on it, and then anything will catch on fire, basically. But I do sometimes, when I have the time, like to prepare. It's fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> and um, I wish you a great day.